How's it going everyone? Welcome to Art and Design. My name is Darkin and today I just wanted to show you a cool trick that you can do with Affinity Designer. So within Affinity Designer, let's just start uh, by creating a new vector layer. I pick a vector brush. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw on this vector layer. So let me just do pressure like so, increase the size of it, and let's add a stabilizer. So what is this? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? What I'm going to do with this, however, is really cool. So all of the strokes that I did right here are on this layer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a symbol from this layer. So let's go into the symbols and let's add simple from selection. So now the layer is a simple and I'm going to pick up the simple and I'm going to put it in like so. And then I am going to just go ahead and move it like so. And there we go. All right. So we have two of the same thing on the canvas right now. I've inserted a symbol from the selection and the selection was layer four. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, this symbol that I just created. Just going to press duplicate Then I'm going to scale it a little bit. I'm going to rotate it a bit and then move it. I'm just going to make it so that it sort of uh, seems to align like so. And now check this out. Once I press duplicate again, it's going to do the same thing. The selection that I duplicated last is going to do the same. So it's going to scale it, it's going to rotate it, and it's going to move it. And if I just duplicate it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, you can see we have pretty much created a fractal here. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Now, here's where it gets crazy. So let's go into the node tool now, and let's select the original layer which is layer four. And you can probably see where I'm getting with this. Uh, if we select one of the nodes and start moving it, you can see how it all reacts immediately to it. That is so cool. And if I move this one, I can do something like this, move it, scale it. The crazy thing is I can even select all of these layers and group them. And then I'm gonna create a symbol from this group. Ooh, okay, now it gets interesting. All right, so let me add this symbol now to the drawing. And let's try to, yeah, just align it like this. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna duplicate, move it, scale it, rotate it a bit. And now let's go ahead and duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. Okay, so you can see here we have a lot of individual curves and shapes that are interacting right here. So if we go into the node tool now and start editing one of these, let's go into the group and let's pick, where is it, layer four? Where are you? It should be this one. It's breezing through this. I thought it would struggle just a little bit. Can we push it even further? Okay, let's try it. So let's pick all of them again. I'm gonna group them all. And this time I'm gonna scale all of this down. And uh, yeah, let's do the same thing. So we have it right here. I'm going to the symbols. I'm going to add simple from selection, drag it in, position it where I want it. So duplicate, scale, rotate, move. Duplicate, yep, there we go. It's 
pick one of them and move it. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we seem to have hit the sort of processing upper limits of the iPad in Affinity Designer, at least with regards to this functionality. But I mean, that is really impressive. It's a lot of shapes here. And yeah, that's a really cool trick that you can utilize. Uh, maybe if you're creating like hundreds or thousands of trees, you can just sort of duplicate them. And you can even add things like you know, effects on some of the things here. So if I go into this symbol, for example, this is probably gonna struggle now, but let's add a 3D bevel to it. Color overlay. Yeah, so you can see like, yeah, if you wanted to recolor the trees or something like that in your painting, that's easy, easy peasy. You get to recolor thousands of trees with a press of a single button. There we go, come on, come on. You can do it. So yeah, that was what I wanted to show in this video. Let me know in the comments down below, do you use this functionality uh, in Affinity Designer or any other similar illustration app or software? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious to know about that. But on the topic of illustration, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Now, I'm super happy to have Skillshare on board to sponsor this video because this YouTube channel is all about learning, exploration and growing as artists. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers its members access to a huge list of classes for drawing, illustration and so much more, including some great classes on Affinity Designer. Now, lately, Working on my YouTube channel has been less about drawing new artworks and being creative. These days I spend a lot of my time managing projects and people and it's not really a naturally acquired skill for me. So I've had to start learning from more experienced people. And this is why I recently started following along to a class called Introduction to Project Management, Methods and Tactics for Success by Brett Harnett. Now Brett's class helped me put my mind to ease, not trying to think about too many things at once, but instead use proven methods to help manage projects and people. What I think is so great about Skillshare is the access to class resources and the community aspect as well. And Skillshare is also really affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops an annual subscription is less than $10 a month and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of the premium membership so you can go ahead and explore your creativity. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about Affinity Designer then please let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you liked it, share it if you really liked it. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.